Hello world, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the forensics challenge Torrent Analyze, worth 400 points. Let's get into it. SOS, someone is torrenting on our network. One of your colleagues has been using Torrent to download some files on the company's network. Can you identify the files that were downloaded? The file name will be the flag like Pico CTF file name. Capture traffic. Okay, so I already had the file downloaded, of course. So we'll go ahead and crack that open. And let's go ahead and maximize that. So you'll notice here's the torrent stuff right here. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll notice 51413 is sending a bunch of data in bytes. And if we look at that, we can actually see this D1, RD2, ID2. Now, if you Google that, you'll actually find references to something called bt dash DHT, and that's what type of traffic this is. It's BitTorrent DHT traffic. And I can't remember what DHT stands for, but doesn't matter. What that tells us is we can decode it, though. We can decode, and we'll add UDP port, right? And we want BT DHT, and then there we go. 51413 is like the default port setup for it. So we'll save that. Okay. And now we have just our, well, we don't have it, but you'll, you'll be able to see that we have BT DHT traffic now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to filter on UDP dot. Mm, well, let's filter on BD THT. Okay. Now, if we come through here, we can actually expand this because we're going to want to do that. We're going to notice that there's message types and all, all bunches of good stuff in here. Now, what we're interested in is something called, and I wonder if it'll show up here. I'm not sure. But it's something called a info hash variable or key, I believe. If I keep going through, there's one. Here we go. Okay. So if we scroll down, we'll see, okay, there's some traffic here. Info hash is this, info hash. And then we'll see something that says zoo720webdlmkvhub.com. Huh. Okay. So what an info hash is in torrents is it just contains all the information about the torrent you're downloading. So it'll have like, it may, I think it even has technically the torrent in it. Like it, it pretty much hashes everything so we kind of need to quote unquote decode the hash but how do we decode the hash we're all we're looking for remember is a file name so if we go to google typically if we google a let's see copy value if we google i don't know why it's only copying the one there let's try copying the actual value here there we go if we google this it should come back with the exact torrent that we were looking for because oftentimes the metadata will be stored on the site. So we're gonna click on that and just verify that this is indeed this mkvhub.com movie. And it does appear to be the case if we compare these info hashes. So there's that zoo 720p. Yep, looks exactly like what we were looking for. Oh yeah, here's the name of it right here actually. It matches exactly. Okay, so we know that something was being torrented. Now, not necessarily this, but something was. So how are we going to find what was being torrented? Easier, anyways, instead of having to go through all of these. Well, let's look for bt-tht traffic that purely contains what? The info hash? And now we'll only have BT DHT traffic that contains the info hash. Now we're looking for something that has the same hash multiple times. Cause remember you'll have different peers sending you data. So the IP addresses will be randomized. That's fine. We don't necessarily care about that. What we care about is what hash is show up the most. So now that we have this kind of info hash sorted here, let, why don't we go ahead and apply that actually as a column or not. Okay. Let's apply the value as a column. There we go. 
And all we need to do is sift through this and see which hash shows up the most, because that's going to be the one that was being torrented. And it looks like it's this E2 hash right here. So it's exactly the one we were using to filter by. Notice how many of those there are? So this is probably what we're looking for in terms of the torrent. So why don't we all go ahead and grab that value and we'll just do a nifty Google search on it. And check it out, our first item, Ubuntu 19.10 desktop amd-iso says info hash right here who thanks demon lord okay yeah <laughs> demon lord zyrak okay so that probably is the file we're looking for so just to verify it is we'll go ahead and put it in like it says and that was it if you enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Mill. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.